Okay, let's talk about the MTLE, Elementary Education Grades K through 6 Math Exam. So if you're watching this video, I assume you're preparing for the MTLE, Elementary Education Certification, which is excellent, uh, obviously meaning that you're going to become an elementary educator in the state of Minnesota. But uh, obviously, first things first, you're going to have to get through this particular exam. And uh, one of the things uh, that a lot of elementary education uh, teaching candidates, not just in Minnesota, but nationally, is um, when it comes to the math section on these certification exams, a lot of uh, people think, oh, I just need to know basic elementary math. I mean, that's logical, right? You're going to be teaching at this level. So as long as you're good with, say, fractions, decimals, place value, you know, basic concepts like that, counting, um, multiplication, division, and those are all very, very important things. You know, as long as you're, you know, really, really well at that, that, that should cover you in terms of your preparation for uh, the particular certification exams. However, that's not the case. So um, in reality, you're going to have to know um, a decent amount of high school level math to be fully prepared for uh, the MTLE elementary education uh, certification. So we're talking algebra, geometry, etc. And so what we're going to do here in this video is take a look at a, a kind of basic level high, high school level algebra problem. Okay, I'll get to this in a second. Um, and uh, we'll talk about a few other things as well. But before we get started, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over the last several years, I've constructed many, many uh, online math cl uh, classes, courses, to include an MTLE elementary education math test prep course. So a very, very comprehensive uh, course. And the way I do all my uh, courses is I do research on what's on these particular exams. And I try to kind of develop a customized curriculum, if you will, um, to kind of teach you just right. I don't want to overteach you. You know, you don't need to know advanced trigonometry and calculus, but I don't want to underteach you as well. So I try to get the right balance and give you a nice course. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave a link uh, to that course in the description of this video so you can check that out. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this problem. Okay, and the way I like to do these. Uh, little videos is obviously explain the problem first, give you a chance to do it, and then I'll give you a little bit of a hint, and then I'm gonna actually solve the problem. Okay, so here is a situation, so what's going on? All right, so I have an equation of a line, all right, so that's this guy right here, and I have a point. Now, what we're talking about is the x, y axis, right? Remember this good old x and y deal like this. So this is an equation of a line, and this is a point uh, that's on the x-y axis. So obviously, this equation of a line, you could graph it, and then here at this point, you can plot that there. Okay, so my question is this. It's very simple. Is this point, is that point 2, 4 on this line? Okay, is it on that line? In other words, here's the line, okay, is the point 2, 4 on the line, or is it off the line? Okay. All right, so that is the question, and uh, kind of gave you, you know, maybe a little, well, I had to explain the question, obviously, but uh, that should be thorough enough directions on what i like you to do, right? So determine one way or another is the point on this particular line. All right, so that being said, if you think you know how to solve it, go ahead and pause the video and do so. And now I'm going to give you a little bit more of a hint, all right, which is almost going to be the solution to the problem. So if you don't want to hear it, go ahead and pause the video. But if you're you're like, yeah, yeah, I need to know this because I'm not quite sure what to do, well, then let's get into it. All right, so this point here, okay, this is a coordinate. We also call this an ordered pair coordinate, a point on the xy plane. But 2, 4, okay, represents or is in the format of an x and a y, okay? So if you didn't know that, points, okay, it's like that old game Battleship, I don't know if uh, you guys remember when you're like, hey, you know, my A3, right, or, you know, F13, and you would just be trying to figure out <laughs> where the other person's Battleship was located, same thing, this is just an address system, it's just a, lo a way we locate points on the XY plane, so the point 2, 4, the way we would do that, it's 2 on the X, okay, 1, 2 here, all right, and then four on the Y, one, two, three, four, and boom, that's that's uh, two, four. Now, I'm not saying that point is on this line. We haven't determined that. 
you know, just because it's uh, there, but that would be like the coordinate to four, all right? Now, this X and this Y, okay, um, are also, you know, um, relate to the X's and Y's in this equation of this particular line. This is what we call a linear equation. It's happened to be written in Y equals MX plus B format. All right, that is the slope, and this is the Y-intercept. That's uh, somewhat extraneous in this particular problem. Even if you don't remember this, you don't really need to know that to answer this question. This is actually a pretty straightforward question here. Okay, so the hint uh, is that this X and this Y, okay, are the same as this Y and that X. Okay, you just kind of think of it in that way. All right, so if you think you now know what to do, go ahead and do so. And now, drum roll please, because here comes the solution. All right, so is this point, this quarter, this ordered pair, or this coordinate on this particular linear equation, this line? Let's go ahead and determine that now. All right, so the way, what I'm going to do is replace this x with 2, okay, because that's what the 2 is in the x position. And I'm going to replace this y here with uh, 4, okay, because x, y, that's 2, 4, so y value here is 4, right? So let's go and do that now. So y, we're going to say, is 4. We're just going to plug in. So we're going to substitute these x and y's for this, again, would be uh, 4, and this would be 2. So now, but we got to follow this. 3x means 3 times x. So this is going to be 3 times 2, right? I'm substituting. If, if uh, x is 2 now, y is going to be 4, right? Plus 1, okay? Now, once you've done that, what we have to now uh, determine is this true or false, okay? We have to simplify this. We're going to use some basic math skills here to simplify this. So 4, okay, is that equal to 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1. So when we uh, fully simplify this, is 4 is equal to 7. Does that make any sense? No, that's not true. That's false, okay? So... Because this is false, this is not true, this point, okay, is not on this line, okay? That's how we check uh, to determine w whether an ordered pair, or coordinate, or point, they're all, you know, uh, uh, you can use any of those terms to describe this, um, is on this particular line, right? So just basic concepts of ordered pairs, points on the XY plane, and how they relate to lines. Now, this is a really, really kind of fundamental problem, but... Um, more, you know, kind of related skills to this that, you know, you really need to know is, hey, how do you even graph a line? So, so I could just ask you, hey, graph that line. Do you know how to graph that line? Okay. What if I gave you a problem like this? All right. And we're not going to do these problems, but just some things I want you to think about is find the equation of a line that has a slope of one half and goes to the point two, four, right? So I want you to find the equation Okay, of a line that go that has a slope of one half and goes to uh, 0.24. So, you know, you could, there's a lot of different little uh, sub questions when it relates to uh, linear equations, lines. You got to know how to graph lines. Okay, you got to know how to find the slope of a line. You got to know how to find the equation of lines. It's a big, big topic and really fundamental to algebra. So. You know, something that you certainly want to be up to speed on if you want to be fully prepared for the MTLE elementary education and math certification exam. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Um, again, if you want to check out my test prep course on this particular exam, just check out the, the link in the description of this video. Um, hopefully, you'll consider subscribing and posting math videos like, you know, just weekly. I've been doing this for 12 plus years on, uh, on YouTube plus years, excuse me. Um, so I already have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel that can help you out. But obviously, if you want a more formal, organized, and my complete full instruction, I, you know, I do full lessons on many, many fully explained practice problems, and you want to check out my test prep course. But in terms of quick tutorial videos, I think you'll, um, if you like my teaching style, then you, you know, there's a ton of material already on my channel that you like. And speaking of like, hopefully you smash that like button if you got anything out of this video. And leave me some feedback. You know, what's your situation? Are you going from high school to college to teaching? 
or maybe you're uh, switching careers. Um, you know, you're uh, in business for 10 years, 20 years doing something, and now you want to go into the classroom. So it's exciting that there are different routes to for people to become teachers. But just I want to stress one thing to you. Do not underestimate this exam and give yourself enough time to study math, all right, because that really uh, hurts a lot of people. People do fail certification exams, all right? So, uh, there's plenty of teachers out there that have had to take certification exams two, three, four times to get through them. So there's no like, you know, automatic rule that, oh, well, that you are going to pass just because you're in a teacher program or you have a degree. Obviously, you're already at that stage of your career if you're going to be looking at taking a certification exam. This is a professional exam, okay? They're not, it's not easy. So don't underestimate it and don't go in there and, you know, fail the test, if you will, by one or two points, okay? Do the work, and that's just going to be a win-win for you when it comes to math. The more math you know, the more uh, the more confidence you'll have, the better prepared you'll be for the exam, and obviously, just the better teacher you will be. Um, because, you know, let's just think about it real quick, you know, look, you're at the elementary level, you got the middle school, and you got high school here, right? You're getting these students ready for middle school, okay? In middle school, there's plenty of, of uh, students can be taking algebra or even geometry, right? And I, w- I both taught middle school and high school. And, you know, like in high school, when I would great, get great students in, I never took credit for, like, full credit, right? If they did well in my class, algebra or whatever the case is, I recognized, I appreciated all the teachers prior to that that built that student up. So you're going to be handing off a product, if you will, to the next stage of a teacher of uh, that student's education in middle school, which can get pretty advanced. So, you know, you need to know a little bit, you know, not more than a little bit, as much as you can possibly know about this level of mathematics is going to help you prepare that student for that next phase in their education. So, again, hopefully this has convinced you on a number of different levels to really, uh, you know, step up your game in terms of math, but you can do it 100%. You just got to get the right materials, um, give yourself enough time and, you know, really focus. But, um, anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and leave it like this. I definitely wish you all the best on MTLE elementary education math exam. We need great teachers desperately in this country. Um, I want to, um, thank you for your time and have a great day.